Hello, well, welcome back to Art of Awakening. This is Ona Christie, and uh, this is your weekly message for April 26th through March 2nd. I'm using three decks this week. This first card is from Susie Green's Animal Messages deck, and it is B. Um, it seems like this came up recently too. Okay, so B, personally, I've been working with B a lot, and uh, it seems to be coming up in the cards, and uh, her message on this card, uh, this particular deck has these little messages. Hard work is rewarded with responsibility and a sweetness that is shared. Um, so it's really about buckling down and just kind of doing the work, right? You know, the busy bee. Um, the, 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 the flip side of that is feeling into, is this just busy work? Is this just busy work? Am I just, you know, riding the treadmill? Or is this work that's actually going to, to um, you know, in alignment with my higher purpose, with my actual goals, right? So distinguishing between that because we can, okay, so hard work is, is one of these qualities that sometimes that, that can, the trickster can really ride that pretty hard, right? Um, because we've got all this judgment around, you know, hard work. And yes, we need to take action and work is necessary, right? Um, <laughs> even just the, the process of awakening, it's a process of mastery. It takes discipline, it takes work, it takes action, right? Um, but this is also talking about sweetness, okay? So this is distinguishing between work, which is simply just getting things done, right, and taking action, and drudgery, okay, because in our minds sometimes the old 3D model is hard work is drudgery, but you got to do it in order to get where you want to go, right, um, we can put that behind us, okay, if you tune into a beehive and hear the hum, it's joyful, you know, typically if they're, if they're in their groove and if it's a healthy hive or whatever it's it's a lot of celebration and joy around the work okay so think in terms of even um even your household chores this is an also an invitation to take the tasks that you're doing and infuse the joy of being into it okay so if you are doing tasks that are in alignment with your soul they will feel good and it may be hard work but it's not it's not going to be drudgery right and um and sometimes it takes a mindset shift too because sometimes the work that we're doing may not feel like it's soul work but it might be a stepping stone to that so this is also an invitation to any work that you're doing if it's something that is on your to-do list and that you really do need to do um approach it with the with the attitude that you know this is my gift to the world that i'm you know you're going to be doing the work anyway let's bring some sweetness some joy and light into it <laughs> you know and if it's something that is a temporary stepping stone great right but if you know going into it with this infusing the positivity into it will help you get off that stepping stone sooner than if you're sitting there complaining internally about that. So this is all about work, action, work that needs to be done and bringing sweetness into it, which also will result in the harvest of sweetness as well. Okay, and the second deck, and by the way, I just want to thank all of you who have signed up for sessions, who have um, who have liked my videos, who have left comments, I really appreciate those, who have shared, or even and all of you who are just watching, I really, really appreciate that. I, I thank you for your energy. Thank you for your um, votes of confidence. It means a lot to me, so thanks. Okay, this is the second one, the Buffalo Spirit. Um, and this one also has messages on it. The abundant universe will provide. Okay, so far this is really about abundance because bee is a huge abundance animal as well. Both of these animals are um, really, really about abundance. Um, so this, we're moving into this Taurus season, <laughs> which I love Taurus energy. I really do. It's um, 
a lot about you know the beauty and and appreciation of the material world okay so this is really a perfect way to start moving into you know this particular time and of course in the northern hemisphere we've got the spring so we've got the abundance coming forward and this is just also about faith okay not just abundance but faith in that especially if we're starting a new endeavor or in springtime i'm thinking about um, planting seeds oh, uh, my partner i planted a whole bunch of uh, seedlings let me show you these little guys and they're cute right <laughs> this little pepper seedling and it, it takes faith to grow abundance right you got to plant the seed and then at first nothing it looks like nothing is happening and then finally a little sprout starts coming out um, but it's going to be a while before we get any peppers out of this thing so it's trust in the process it's faith that yes this the, the tiny little seed is capable of producing you know uh, peppers and an abundance of them um, and, and this happens in our lives as well if you get impatient it's easy to get impatient you can toss it away you can trample on it or whatever hoping for something better whatever where is where are the peppers right um but with that faith and patience um it, it does eventually lead to a harvest so um i think coupled with that other one just keep doing the little actions right and do so in a positive frame of mind and trust that the abundance will follow and let's see we've got one more card for this week this is feeling like a nice reading i like this abundance mentality here what do you think this is wild goose and i see this card and i always immediately think teamwork okay so this is really having a lot to do with um, I mean it's got other meanings too but I think in conjunction with the other two cards we've got really a concerted efforts um, towards abundance towards creating whatever it is that you want more of in life whether it's money whether it's love whether it's um, you know, peace in the heart, whatever it is, uh, maybe the, the garden that you're, you're planting, um, all sorts of abundance that we have, and your connections, your communities, right, and working together. Where do you have common vision, common goals that you can work together on? Okay, geese are wonderful with teamwork. Um, as we all know, they fly into bees, and, and of course, they're flying back north again right now. Um, and the one in the front, of course, is going to be breaking wind for the others. And then when it gets tired, it goes back to the end. And, and it's way, if you've ever ridden um, on road bikes where, where you're drafting each other, it is so much easier to be riding behind somebody than it is to be breaking the wind. So the geese figured this out. And so this is in terms of this week going forward and working towards your abundance being aware being very aware of okay where am i really flying strong right now and maybe i can take a little weight from somebody else who's maybe needing a little bit of um a, a rest or, or something like that and when am i getting tired when is it time to fall off from the lead to the back and draft a little bit okay so it's give and take it's about allowing yourself to receive assistance. It's about seeing when assistance needs to be given. Okay, it's really about being awake and aware in terms of how the team is working together. Okay, where are you needed? Where can you lend a hand? Where do you need a hand? Um, it's okay to ask, right? But I'm seeing... Um, in, in this week there's potential for a really beautiful seamless kind of teamwork happening all right so i feel like there's a lot of beautiful energy here this of course is a potential right so this may or may not resonate with you this is for the collective um but this i, I think the positive potential for this reading is a lot of beautiful easy 
forward momentum towards whatever abundance you're working for, okay? And the flip side of that is that you could be seeing obstacles or trickster energies coming up in in this all these areas, right? The areas of hard work or maybe feeling frustrated with whatever work you're doing, um, the areas of maybe feeling lack, the areas of perhaps having conflicts with team members, that kind of thing. All right, so watch for that and watch for if some of those things come up, just realize that these are energies, okay, the abundance energy, the teamwork energy, whatever it is that um, when we're aware of it, there are, we can take steps to shift to the positive, right? Um, so if you notice that there's issues with your team, whatever team that is, whether it's your spouse, your kids, or whatever it is, um, know that those, those kind of energies right now are kind of in the forefront. There are things that you can do to shift that energy around. And, and sometimes it'll be like, okay, bring in more fun, bring in more laughter. How can we make this more fun? Or how can we... Um, you know, calm the energies a little bit. How can we, um, maybe if the emotional bodies are, are going crazy, well, how can we shift and bring it more into a rational discussion, right? So always looking for balance wherever things are disharmonious, right? So have a lovely week and we'll catch you again soon.